Hey everyone, in this episode of Daily Dose of Medicine, we will be talking about oral heavy leukoplakia. Without further ado, let's get started. On the left side of the screen, you are seeing oral candidiasis. On the right side of the screen, you are seeing oral hairy leukoplakia. In order to differentiate them, we are using scrape tests. In oral candidiasis, these lesions can be scraped off, but in oral hairy leukoplakia, we cannot brush them off. An oral hairy leukoplakia, which is on the right side, caused by Epstein-Barr virus. Epstein-Barr virus is also known as human herpes virus 4, and it most commonly affects immunocompromised patients. For example, it can affect HIV patients, it can affect organ transplantation patients, and as we said, these are wide hyperkeratotic plaque that cannot be brushed off. In oral candidiasis, we can scrape this lesion. And it's usually distributed along the lateral border of the tongue. It's another way to differentiate this two lesion. Its vertical white striations may appear hairy. And it's mainly occurring in adult males and less commonly in adult females and rarely in children. In addition, men who are HIV positive, who are smokers of more than a pack of cigarettes a day are at much greater risk of developing the condition. And symptoms and signs of hairy leukoplakia include irregular non painful white patches on the sides of the tongue and less frequently elsewhere on the tongue or in the mouth. Patches look corrugated or folded in appearance with tiny fuzzy hair with like protrusions running along the folds. Patches look similar to candida infection. Candida infection is oral trash, except hairy leukoplakia lesions cannot be moved or dislodged. And hairy leukoplakia has also been found in patients with Bechet disease or ulcerative colitis. But it is often the first sign that the immune system is weakening and that person may add increased risk of a more serious condition. When associated with HIV or AIDS, hairy leukoplakia may be one of the first signs of infection with HIV and these conditions jacked broken or sharp teeth rubbing on tongue surfaces broken or ill-fitting dentures or long-term alcohol use can cause oral hairy leukoplakia these are the common causes in differential diagnosis you can think chronic biting geographic tongue you can see geographic tongue in here and we have a video about this topic you can reach from the top right corner or link down below also you can think lichenus white sponge nervous hyperplastic candidiasis and bunch of other diseases in complications local plaque usually doesn't cause permanent damage to tissues in your mouth however it can increase your risk of oral cancer. An oral cancer is often formed near leukoplakia patches, and the patches themselves may show cancerous changes. Even after leukoplakia patches are removed, the risk of oral cancer remains. And treatment is not necessary since the lesion is benign. However, the patient may have aesthetic concerns about the appearance and we can give them antiviral drugs and antiviral drugs usually resolves the condition 7 to 14 days of treatment an oral treatment with antiviral medications such as acyclovir 
needs to be given in a high dosage, in divided dosages for at least seven days to achieve the required therapeutic levels. And treatment of the underlying cause, such as treating HIV or AIDS with antiretroviral medications, usually helps to resolve the lesions. If patients are not taking anti-HIV therapy and hairy leukoplakia causes pain, interferes with eating or affects the voice, antiviral medication with acyclovir or gancyclovir may be used to treat the condition. However, lesions may reappear when an antiviral treatment stopped. Lastly, we have two pictures you can see oral hairy leukoplakia. And that is the end of the video. If you liked it, please like, subscribe and share with your friends. And you can comment down below. Thanks for watching. Take care.